hello viewers and subscribers uh, welcome once again uh, to my screencast continuation screencast about the java beginners to professionals screencast we already talked about detail uh, about the installations and then uh, different uh, different ide how can you integrate the ide for your developments and also the last screencast we already discussed about the 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 different data types and then variables types and also the the different uh, possibilities and different type of data and also the also the also the uh, web classes uh, how the how how the important is web classes to 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 work with the with the data structure or uh, structure data structure or collection frameworks because the data structure or collection frameworks only handle the 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 object type data meaning the web class data so the, we already we discussed this a lot of things the examples and then in my in my in my previous screencast you can follow the screencast and you got the clear idea different type of uh, variable types and the data types you see the here the types of so local data types instance and static data variable types and the data type is primitive and non-primitive data types primitive data you see the boolean character byte sort integer long plot double and non-primitive all the classes interfaces and then also the all collections frameworks or data structure this is the non-primitive data type this that's the thing we already discussed uh, the, uh, about this one the previous screencast you can follow this screencast and today and also we will discuss about the different uh, data types its values and size of the of those respective data types if you got these pictures in the in the in the in, the, in my last screencast so this is the screencast we already discussed about the how what do you mean the the meaning of the auto boxing and unboxing against the versus the primitive uh, data type and on non-primitive data types so definition was there the primitive data type if you try to convert the primitive data type to the webpar type it's called the auto boxing and then if you try to convert from the webpar class object type data to the primitive data type is called the unboxing the the you you data so we already talk about this one also the the wedding variable wedding narrowing and type uh, type casting overflow and adding uh, adding the lower type of data and then you can you can also look for the channels and then the last screencast was this about the detailed discussion with the with the some examples and also the program codes so today we try to 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 give it to you the the only the very abstract like informations uh, how the different type of operators in in java so that's the you know everybody the operators the you know the operator the operators he has a post prefix and a prefix, prefix and a arithmetic operator shift operator relational operator byte wise operator logical operator ternary operator and assignment operator that's the things i try to cover today and then and then I will continue the further the screencast about the some uh, about uh, about the control statement about the inheritance and uh, about the the concept of the object and classes and about the abstraction encapsulation and polymorphism and so on and so forth and this is that the continuation of our screencast that's that's I, I said this is the really uh, really the skin comes from the very beginner level to the professional levels that's that's i try to we try to make it with you and get it your idea and our ideas to come up together as a as as as, as a produce as a really good uh, java programmer or java software development engineer or developer that's i can say so let, let's go back to the our our development so if i saw the we already started the, our projects uh, with the eclipse ide that's a lot of package there so we already discussed about the our all the types of variables that's why the last king class was that's one type of variables and then web classes how the type of variables works and different type of wedding and typecasting and narrow down all things is working here so just follow the previous screencast how it works and you can get the idea so today we will go to the the different type of operators in java so that's i said there's a unary operator if you see this example so let's have a run the example so we have a different 
the static methods as I said uh, to, to give it to you just simply idea how its operator works it's really important to get it clear clear pictures when you really pro, uh, develop some softwares or applications or start to the java programming you need to be clearly understand the different type of operators how the conditions works and that's thing that's why i said it is important to get it clearly clear pictures i try our my best to to give it to you how can you get the really clear clear pictures and how can you use it and how can you memorize it or understand it clearly i try my best so let's have a run the, we have uh, the operators the unary operator the function that we wrote down here different integer value we see the integer value and boolean values and then the cross check how the unary operators that's i that's i mean so so if I run the program code, so we have different different one, two, three, four, five, six operators, and then six of oper different operator examples. We can try to cover it everything. So, so let's have a run the programs. That's how we have. So you can run Java applications, or you can run also the command mode. That's that's depending on you. So if he has the the code you see the the result is 10 12 12 10 22 21 and 30 minus 13 9 and false and true and let's go back to the the how the unary operator works so you see the the integer value as is the variables x a and b and everything b1 is minus 10 and then boolean value c and d is boolean true and set and then d is false sets if you see the statement like that one so x plus plus means it has uh, the re end results is the adds the um, uh, uh, 10 and then you have so in the, in the in the in the prefix you can say it is the uh, that is the prefix and the, uh, before uh, the post prefix uh, x plus plus post prefix it's it's like that's like existing value plus one and then this is the free prefix and uh, that means it has a the result is 11 plus 1 that is this the 12 and then we have the 12 is there then this is the pre, uh, post prefix that means that is again the result 12 minus 1 this is 11 and you see that that they have 11 and then we have a minus 1 the pre prefix and post prefix and then the result is 10 so it has the unary operator the plus plus sign so we have a 10 and 10 plus uh, 12 is the result is 22 and then you have also the the results v is the value 10 10 and then you see the combination of the b post b plus, uh, post prefix and plus and b free prefix and then it says 10 plus 11 result and this is the 21 so it's getting same here this is the the, the unary operator the the sign and you see the the result value is 10 and then it has an 11 minus of total positive value which is the start from the zero and this is the value of the minus is started from the nine positive value of total minus positive started from zero so you have the true checks if is the true check you see how the unary operator the check operator uh, the, uh, the 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 uh, operators in c and we have default value is the true and then we check it is it's true or not yes it's, it's not true then it's the output is false because we said it's true then it's not checked and d is was the false settings and then not checked is true so that means the the you need to be memorized how the memorize or understand the how the the different unary operator works so it has a post prefix the most popular use this one the post prefix and pre prefix and also the the plus plus the double signs and the and then also the also the the the, the true the boolean value checks with the true and false checks this is the the unary operator how the different operator works you can get get clear pictures so let's have a check the the, the other operators like the arithmetic operators that's i said the arithmetic operators so at the very arithmetic is the most one this is a fundamental mathematical operator for the arithmetic operators so everybody knows the arithmetic operators how it's looked like the plus minus 
uh, multiplication, subtractions, and division, and modulus, those things. So, if you see that the really standard uh, arithmetic operator a plus b result is 15, a minus b 5, a multiplication.